We never want our students to fall behind in school, but between recent school closures and the summer coming up, even the top students can fall behind. I had a chance to speak with Dana Edmonds of the Tutoring Club at Jacksonville, who had some advice for all you parents out there. Let's talk about the summer. It's crazy to think that it's coming up so quickly, but we've talked about the summer slide before. What do you think makes this summer different than the rest? Well, this summer is going to be tremendously different because we're gonna take the summer slide and add the COVID virus to it. So we're gonna call it the summer slide on steroids. What really separates that from, you know, a typical summer for students? Well, during a normal summer slide, kids can lose 30 to 40% of what they've learned from the end of um, a school year to the beginning of a new school year. So now most kids in Duval County haven't been in school since March the 6th. So we're gonna add on top of that another three or four months. So you're talking about a good six month span where kids have not had a whole lot of learning. I know schools are doing the best that they can do virtually. So you're talking about a huge learning gap from the end of the last school year when students you know, finished in March to August, the new school year starting. How can you really tell you know, where your child is? Well, a lot of times we use the FSAs and standardized testing that most students are given in April. This year, there are none of those standardized tests, which are great, you know, everybody passes, but it doesn't give you a true look at where the student actually ends up the school year. So we are actually offering to the community until we open, we've got some time on our hands, we've got virtual learning going on, that we're going to offer um, virtual assessments. That means we will give the students an assessment and go over the results, strengths and weaknesses are, so that parents don't have to hit August and say, oh my gosh, what have I been doing? I had no idea. We don't want parents and students to be shocked by going back to school. So if not us, find someone that can give a true assessment for your students so that you're not shocked. You will be tremendously ha just blessed and happy if you know where you're starting and you're not, you know, it's, it's not going to be some big shock to the system. All right, so what advice would you have for parents right now um, who you know, have, have kind of heard what you have to say? Well, what would you have to tell them right now? Find, find a professional that can help you really assess your child. No matter us, whoever, there are a lot of great companies out there, a lot of great people that can do a true assessment and say, hey, your child's fine. You're gonna be great when school starts or you know, no, you're a little behind in this area. We need to catch you up. Uh, the, the, the important thing is, is knowledge is powerful. And I've said that to you so many times, every time I talk to you all, you have to have knowledge to know what you're dealing with. Don't go into August blindsided. Find someone that can help assess your child, find the skill gaps. That's the most important thing you, any parent could do. And Dana, can you tell our viewers where they can find more information about the Tutoring Club? Sure. Um, you, they can go to tutoringclub.com slash Jacksonville, Florida, or they can call or text us at 904-268-8556. Um, the free assessments will only last with us until we are open back in the center. So we're hoping that sometimes in June, we're hoping that parents will take advantage of it now because we can't offer it for free once we open and we have students back in our center, but right now we can. So we'd love to hear from parents. Mitch and seeing us on First Coast Living, we will make sure that they're taken care of and they'll know exactly what they're dealing with when school starts next year. Well, thank you so much, Dana. I do appreciate your time.